Alrighty guys, it is Quaman here today and I'm bringing you another Dragon Ball Z segment on Does Beerus Fear Frieza? But I am not alone as I am joined with Rhyme Style and ZZ Toasty and in today's video we will be talking specifically about Beerus and why it has been hinted since Battle of Gods that he might potentially fear Frieza and we want to give you guys some of our reasoning as to why this might be the case. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this video. So ZZ Toasty, would you like to start off with your thoughts? Alright, yeah, so I think that Beerus is, okay, now he's not afraid of Frieza, but he thought that Frieza was probably the most strongest character in the universe, because Majin Buu obviously was dormant for a long time, Cell was made by Dr. Jiro, so Frieza was probably the strongest that he knew of in the universe at that point. And then after Goku defeated Frieza, he was so surprised that he heard that Goku actually defeated Frieza, especially if it was a Saiyan, because every Saiyan before him was known to be extremely weak and not be able to even stand up to even probably King Cold. So it seems that he was either just surprised about that or he knew something more about Frieza that others didn't know, maybe Frieza knew as well. And that's probably what's going to be happening in the new movie with all of this final form talk and all that hmm. stuff, honestly. I think that he was scared of him a little bit. Right. Only because of that, him being the strongest in the universe besides Beerus and the other gods, obviously. Mm. Rob Stahl? So uh, this is this is what's been bugging me for the past week. Like, well, I I, I remembered uh, when, uh, like Tosi just said, when uh, Beerus found out that Frieza was killed, he was very shocked. Like, he was like, what? Frieza? Like, really? Like, Frieza? are you sure Frieza died? Not like somebody else that looked like him? Like, maybe not Ginyu? But Frieza, for real, he's dead? Why? Like, he was so surprised about that, and the thing that, like, really bothered me was, like, freaking Beerus' power level, we all know it was ridiculous. His power is so crazy that he could easily wipe out pretty much anybody that we know right now by just flicking them. And, uh, Frieza's power level compared to how strong everybody else is at, you know, at that point of Dragon Ball Z's history, his timeline, is a joke. So it's like, why was he so surprised that, you know, Frieza was, you know, defeated? So here's, here's what I started thinking. What if, what if, Frieza needed immortality or something, you know, what, probably immortality. What if he just needed immortality to achieve his next transformation? Like, what if he actually knew that he had another power hidden inside him that he could achieve to become even more powerful? And that, maybe Beerus knew about that? And that's why he probably wanted to kill him. Like, because remember, he was like, you know what, if I see Frieza, I'm probably going to wipe it out myself. So, like, what if Beerus actually knew that Frieza did have that strength inside of him, hidden deeply inside, and Frieza was on our reality of seeking the, the Dragon Balls to gain immortality so he can achieve that power so he can you know, ultimately rule the whole universe. So, like, I feel like he knew. I feel like he knew. And part of him was actually afraid that that power potentially does exist, just like how Frieza was, was afraid of the Saiyans, you know, when the Super Saiyan came out. And I feel like, uh, because of that, Frieza was, I mean, not Frieza, but Beerus was sort of afraid, and that's why he kind of wanted to wipe him out, knowing that he was, like, you know, the next strongest person. So I think he was afraid. I think there's a part of him that's definitely afraid, and... We'll probably see it in this next movie because, like, basically, his unfinished plan of what he wanted to do in Plan Namek is basically about to come to fruition. Now, that's how I see this movie going, and I'm really excited to see what actually is going to happen. Like, this is Frieza's dream, and it's, it's finally going to be achieved. I really think it's going to be immortality that's going to lead into something else, uh, his next form or something. Mm -hmm. Well, to be completely honest with you, you know, I recently finished you know working on a video with uh thundershot black and fist and james krasnerik which at this point i don't know will be uploaded before or after this video here <laughs> but my point is that i think that from the beginning beerus possibly knew whether it was him or weiss that frieza had some form of potential that he was never able to unlock and the reason i say this is because it was somewhat implied from Battle of Gods, the first, you know, obviously the first movie before this one, that, you know, when Goku had defeated Frieza, now number one, I, I find it kind of funny that they say Goku defeated Frieza, but in fact, he actually didn't kill him, it was actually Trunks. Yep. But either way, why was Beerus so shocked? Well, then, the first thing that came to my mind at the time was, well, it was obvious because, you know, Frieza was obviously the most powerful person in the universe, you know, with the exception of obviously Beerus. So obviously anybody who can take him down would be worth a threat. But then it, it kind of led me into thinking, if Frieza, once we did that video, you know, a couple weeks ago, Rhyme Style, where we talked about is Frieza the right villain. Uh -huh. If Frieza were to somehow 
unlock his potential and, you know, be somewhat godlike in terms of his power, he could potentially be a threat to Beerus. Which makes me believe that that's why Beerus was saying himself, that's why I would kill Frieza the next time I see him, because he wanted to get rid of him because he probably viewed Frieza as a potential threat if he could ever unlock his full potential or become immortal-like. And, you know, not necessarily immortal, but at least a lot more powerful than what he is to be on par with a villain like Beerus. Which is why, personally, I predict that Frieza will kill Beer Beerus in this upcoming movie. Ooh. Yes, I, I made it in my most previous video, because I think that killing Beerus would kind of give Frieza somewhat of a big impact, because you can't have a, a villain of Frieza's caliber come back and not do something major, and I honestly think that if Frieza comes back, he will kill Beerus and it'll be up to Goku and Vegeta to defeat him based on the type of character that he is and based off of the, you know, subtle fear that Beerus was showing throughout mm -hmm. Battle of Battle of Gods. So what do you guys think about that? Oh, wow. That actually... Oh, wow. I just thought about that. That actually makes a lot of sense because Whis, we've seen in Battle of Gods, Whis doesn't really fight often or he doesn't... He at least doesn't always want to fight. Beerus likes to destroy, so he likes to fight. And since Whis apparently is going to, it seems like he's going to be fighting in this movie, really, what what is there that will really force Whis to actually start to fight? And it could be the death of Beerus, Ooh. especially because a lot of people actually have been saying recently, I've seen this on my videos, you probably have seen it on yours as well, a lot of people saying that Frieza is going to kill Beerus and become the god of destruction in his place. Dude, what if and that's actually what it takes to be a god of destruction? You have to kill the one before that. Holy you have to crap! The one who destroys everything else. Holy crap! That, I... I think that could be it, especially because in the trailer, if you guys, I, I would assume you guys remember, there was a part where Whis, Goku, and Vegeta were all watching a huge, it was, it was like a huge fight, and they were like, it was blowing away everything, and they were just like seeing everything that was happening in front of them, and it seemed like it was sort of a blue slash like purple sort of thing going on, so I think that that could have been Frieza and, we and uh, Beerus fighting in front of them, and then Beerus probably dies Dude, in that time, and then... that that is an incredible theory. That That is so amazing. I'm so hyped right now, because I really wish that this is exactly what... Well, actually, I don't wish that's what happened, because I really like Beerus. I don't want him to die, but that would be so incredible! Dude, what if we go... Going back to whole Namek Saga, what if that was actually Freeze's goal from the beginning, to become the, to become the God of Destruction? Like, what if that's what he actually really wanted to achieve? He wanted to achieve immortality so he could defeat Ooh. Beerus and become the God of Destruction himself. Ooh. Because... He knew he knew about Beerus. Like we all know, if Beerus knew about Frieza, he, Beer, Frieza most likely knew about him. Especially since the Saiyans knew about Beerus already as well, and they were scared of him. Frieza was also probably scared of him. So Frieza wants to probably like go like become greater than Beerus or kill Beerus to show his dominance. Because Frieza is the kind of guy who doesn't like to know that somebody or something is better than right. him. So he probably wants to become the god of destruction. Probably wants to kill Whis as well. Because he knows that Whis is stronger than Beerus. Uh -huh. So he probably wants to become... He wants to kill Beerus, become the God of Destruction, get more immortality, so Whis can pretty much not kill him, and kill Whis. And probably wants to do that sort of thing. And then rule the universe as the God of Destruction. Ooh, God of Destruction free. That sounds... I like I like the, the way that sounds. That's... Wow. Hmm. Wow. I mean, that's a lot of information to take in. Um, You, you make a very good point, uh, ZZ, because... You know, when you look at that that fight scene, I mean, it was really, really quick, and it was just a trailer, but honestly, why would all of them be looking at, like, a fight? Like, who else would it be involved mm -hmm. with? Now, one thing that I've mentioned in my other prediction video, I don't want to really give out a lot of spoilers for this one, because I'll probably upload this one first, <laughs> but <laughs> I was also talking about Goten and Trunks, and I've noticed that in every single trailer or pictures or whatever... They are absolutely nowhere to be seen. Like, yeah. no is, flashback, is... not on the poster, like nothing. And it makes me think that maybe th something major happens to them, or maybe they're somehow taken away from the film, because why would all of these trailers have no Goten and Trunks in it? I know why. I, I think I have a great theory to go to. Maybe Toriyama forgot that they existed. Oh my god. <laughs> just like Lodge. No, that's actually a good point. <laughs> he was, that's he was just like, wait, I think, I honestly think, I think they're, they're holding them back because they, they don't want to reveal them just yet because they're probably going to have a uh, a better looking design. Because remember, in Battle of Gods, their character design didn't really make sense because they were like, how old were they, like 15, 16 in Battle of Gods? Battle of Gods, no, they were 11 and 12. 11 and 12, but they still look like they were like 7 and 
eight. Yeah, they like, look like they're... And 11, 11 Gohan looked way different than he did than he did back from the Saiyan Saga. Like, he had a big difference. I don't know, exactly. maybe it's just the design thing. Hmm. Oh. You Wait, mean, actually, could... I just thought of something. I'm um, sorry, go ahead, Kwame. No, I was just gonna say, you can make an argument that they actually look younger at Battle of Gods than they did in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Yeah, they, they did look younger. I don't know why, but... I thought, maybe... You know how in that movie, even though it's not canon, the movie with Tarbell in it, the Yosan Goku and Friends Return, there were two henchmen that were said to be as strong as Frieza, and Goten and Trunks both, like, took both of them on. Abo and Kato. What if that same thing happened... Yeah. And what if that same thing happened with these two new guys, Sorbet and... Uh, Kagoma, yeah, what well, if, as a matter of what fact... What if it's that same thing, and they're stronger than Frieza in before, if they, that's even possible, uh, and they defeat Goten and Trunks? As a matter of fact, I, I, I'm glad you pointed out, because in the prediction video, we talked a little, uh, you know, about that, but my prediction was that Goku would fight Frieza, and Vegeta would try to potentially, you know, with maybe a stronger villain, like, let's say, a Gohan, he would focus on actually fighting, like, Sorbet and Togoma, while Goku and Vegeta focused on Frieza. And, you know, that way, like, all of the ran all of the weaker Z fighters would just be focused on killing Frieza's random henchmen, because if you That's look at that... for the win! Exactly, because if you look at that, uh... <laughs> if you look at that, um... trailer one good, more time, there were so many Frieza soldiers flying around that you gotta say to yourself, even though they're weak, they can. There's so many of them around at a time that you know it would take a while to you know get rid of some of them. But then if you think about it, a more powerful character like let's say Piccolo. I'm obviously going to use Piccolo as an example. Like he can like wipe them all out with like one blast. So do you think mm -hmm. he can? Because we, we don't know much about the soldiers. Like those soldiers could have been upgraded. What if each one of those soldiers mm -hmm. is actually the strength of Togoma and Sorbet too? Because we don't really like. We've seen so Frieza Swords in the past, and they were just jokes. They're like stormtroopers of Dragon Ball Z. Like, what if those? What if these Frieza Swords are actually on a new level? Like, maybe they got something out of the wish too. Hmm. That's a good. Yeah, point. wish for we, everybody. Like, they we, wish we, back. They wish for them to have just, power. Like, just to point out again, like this movie is going to be two hours of mostly fighting. Now, remember, Battle of Gods was about what, was a, was ninety something minutes, 100, 110 minutes, something like that. Uh, yeah. But it was it was only twenty minutes of fighting. This movie mm -hmm. is going to be all focused on fighting, so there's going to be fighting left and right. You know, obviously, Feed the Soldiers versus the Z Warriors to go and survey probably against Goten and the Trunks. Um, and of course, Beerus, Free Beerus versus Frieza ultimately probably getting killed, which I really don't hope doesn't happen, but I also kind of want to happen. And of course, the ultimate battle happens in the end. So, there's going to be a lot of fighting there that that's going to take place in the movie, and it's going to be freaking amazing. I've mm -hmm. always, I, still, I still wonder to this day why Whis is fighting, but Beerus, like, on the poster, seems so nonchalant and, like, he seems like I don't know. There's I, something I like, like, I like there's something theory. there's like something off theory. about that. Yeah. No, I like your theory. I, I, Frieza does probably kill and become the next god. It's, it's gotta be. It. It's got. It's gotta be it. That's gotta be it, dude. What if like his transformation is very very powerful and then becoming god it pushes him even to the next level. Hmm. Ooh. Because like this is the thing. Like everybody's always saying like people are saying that the Dragon Balls can grant two wishes at a time now. Even then. You have to wish the the soldiers back as well as Frieza, because Frieza still has to be resurrected. Yeah. So you have very limited amount of wishes, and for the stuff that's happening here, it doesn't really seem like you can wish for that many things to happen. So I'm I'm wondering, like, if Frieza gets wished back, either one those henchmen come out of nowhere and they've all been hiding well, for well, the I entirety of this time, bring which those, uh, I wouldn't believe. I feel like they bring the henchmen. Hmm. Here's, here's, here's the other thing, like, what happened in the last 20-something years between Frieza dying, like, I feel like Sorbet and Togoma maybe took the remaining army with them somewhere, trained them maybe, made them a lot more powerful. I mean, yeah, because they did, I guess since after King Cold and Frieza did die, I guess that the Planet Trade organization really had nobody in charge anymore, really, mm -hmm. because the Cold family was dead at that point. So I guess that those two were maybe the vice presidents or something like that of it, the, and they just took charge and mm -hmm. took charge of all the Planet Trade organization. And then they realized where Frieza died and came back to try and revive him with the Dragon Balls. Hmm. I don't know, but I would love to hear everybody else's theories. If you're watching this video, let us know your best theories and ideas of, of what you just heard us talk about, because there's a lot of potential and a lot of direction that this movie can go in, and every single direction seems exciting. Every single mm -hmm. direction is exciting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I definitely agree, and uh, i just like to, you know, before we close this out, I'd just like to plug your channels in really quick. 
everybody who's watching this video, please check out all of our channels. I'm Quaman, obviously. <laughs> there's <laughs> Rhyme Style, and there's also ZZ Toasty. And I hope yep. you guys, you know, check out their channels, subscribe to them, share the love, because we're all in this together, essentially, as I guess you would call us DBZ tubers. Yeah. <laughs> but um, the DBZ community of YouTubers. The Z tubers. <laughs> call the Z tubers better. The Z tubers. Yeah, we are the Z force. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, <this> is <laughs> but uh yeah thank you guys for watching and uh please remember to rate comment and subscribe and remember as i always say always. in every every single video every single video <laughs> to rate comment and subscribe all three and remember <laughs> as i always say what does he say who have not a good not a good. Not a mediocre. Okay. Not a mediocre. Not a bad. Not a bad one. But to have a great day, guys. You know what? Fuck great. Have the best fucking day of your life. <laughs> yep. Be, be happy. All right, guys. Peace. Peace.